Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. So it's just going through the uh, analytics section for this channel. I went through the research tab and I saw that one of the top searches was Velocity Banking Software. Now I'm going to keep it real with you all. Um, Velocity Banking, you don't really need special software or fancy software. All you need is a copy of Microsoft Excel. And you can see that Microsoft Excel was created in 1985, the very first version. And I also did a search on when home equity lines of credit were first offered. And uh, another Google search uh, appeared and it said they began to become popular in this country around um, 1986. So if you were uh, a financial pioneer and wanted to figure out oh, how do you do velocity banking, you could have done it early as probably the late 80s, right? <laughs> so, but here's the thing. Velocity banking in its core is very simple, right? All you need, the only software you need to kind of understand it is Excel. And, you, you know, I could make an argument that you need Excel to do it, but I have a copy of Excel here, and there's only two requirements to doing velocity banking. One is you need a budget, right, which I have right here. And then number two, a line of credit as a main operating account. Now, this morning, I woke up to some negative energy comment or a negative energy comment, and it was like complaining about, you know, you assume that you can get a line of credit. And you know what? I say the same thing every uh, video. Uh, you probably can't because if you're doing this at the last moment, banks aren't going to offer you a line of credit because banks only offer you credit when you don't need it, right? And a lot of people get angry about that. It's like, well, it's not my system. So, all right. So two requirements. Number one is the budget. Number two is a line of credit as a main operating account. So as you can see here, we have a budget, and if we're going to do velocity banking, it's almost going to be very similar with tweaks in our behavior, right? And here with the average American, we're using our checking account as our main operating account. And then here with velocity banking, our main uh, account is our line of credit, and we always assume that we're going to make the same amount of money and have zero savings, absolutely no savings because we're going to dump our entire paycheck into that line of credit. Paycheck into line of credit, expenses uh, out of line of credit, and rinse and repeat over and over again. It's a very simple strategy. And now let's do this, right? So what we're going to now do is just simply re-engineer our finances, right? So we're just going to go in here and you know what? This person is doing really well already. I just noticed this, like $1,900 of savings a month. We get, we get plenty of leftover money um, at this stage. But you know what? Let's let's Even though we're doing well, let's just even do a little bit better. I know there are people who are paycheck to paycheck. And I've go over some of that scenarios in other videos. In fact, I have so many videos on this topic. It's insane. And here's the other thing, too. If you want to master this uh, subject... Just do the same the same scenario like a thousand times, you know. There's that Bruce Lee saying, I do not fear the man who kicks ten or you know, does one kick ten thousand times. I fear the man who does uh ten thousand kicks or no, one kick ten thousand times. That's that's what it was. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do this. So right now, let's assume that we have a fifteen thousand dollar personal line of credit at a 15% interest rate. So the difference between a credit card and a personal line of credit, they're both lines of credit, but the credit card you can't use to pay everything, right? I can't pay credit card two with credit card one, but with a personal line of credit, I can use it to pay credit card one, credit card two, auto loan mortgage, right? So we want to get as many tools as possible before we need it. It's kind of like being a handyman you want, ex you know, you want to have a a experience with every tool possible and have access to every tool before you start your business, right? It doesn't make sense to go into a handyman business, start it, and then realize, oh my goodness, I should get trained in learning how to use a screwdriver, right? But that's kind of how a lot of people are um, with our society because we don't, you know, our education te system doesn't teach anybody anything, but nobody seems to care for whatever reason. They just all want to go to college and... Uh, learn nothing and, and get into a lot of debt. Now, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to um, 
do a little bit of debt transfer to increase our cash flow. So if we move these two credit cards here into this personal line of credit, 11000, guess what happens, right? This is going to go to zero. This is going to go to zero, right? And income minus expenses is our cash flow. And you'll notice that our cash flow has increased from 1900 savings. We're going to have no savings now. Now it's going to be $2,281.27, right? How do we go from here to here without making more income? Well, it's simple. When we dump our entire paycheck into the line of credit, it does two things. It satisfies the minimum monthly payment, and it, it minimizes the interest by uh, when you dump your entire paycheck, the, the interest is calculated by the average daily balance, right? And so now what we're going to do is go ahead and calculate the interest, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, or I'm sorry, not the interest, the uh, next month's balance, which is going to be I2 plus 1, and then this is going to be G2 plus H2. So it's still going to be the next month's balance is going to be determined by the previous month's balance plus the previous month's interest minus our cash flow right here, 2281.27. Okay. And then now, right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the average of these two numbers to get the interest, right, because it's going to be determined by the average daily balance, right, the average daily balance. And we're going to estimate it using this average function. Multiply it by 15%, which is the interest rate, and then divide it by 12, right? That could, we're going to get the monthly interest. And now let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And oh my goodness, uh, five months it took us to pay off 11k. Now, granted, we had a lot of you know leftover cash flow savings in the beginning, anyways. So we just kind of slightly, <laughs> slightly um, made a tweak so that this is all gone, right? And then here's the trick, right? So once the, you know, it, you don't even have to um, st stop using credit cards, right? So with the credit cards. You just keep using them, but you just never go over 1500 and use them for your general expenses, right? Okay, so hopefully that makes sense and I go over this in other videos. But you see how easy that was? I didn't have to think about it, right? And again, while we're in debt payoff mode, why not use the full power of your paycheck to pay off that debt, right? Okay, so now in five months, 11000 So we paid this off in five months, eleven k. These two credit cards, very simple. Right now, let's go ahead and figure out what the balance of this auto loan is after five months. Right? Well, assume it's a five year auto loan. And you know what's crazy? I was looking up car financing for Toyotas, and they had these offers like 3% for 36 months. And then I went to bankrate.com, and it said the average like financing, you know, interest rate for auto loans is like 7%. So I'm wondering if like they put that low interest rate to kind of get you through the door. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then like, they just kind of surprise you with the higher one. And since you're in the door, you'll, they'll figure that you'll take it. I wonder if that's the strategy of the um, car dealerships, but we'll see. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to uh, calculator.net, loan amortization. Okay. All right, so let's go back here. So 22,000 at 7%. 22, 22,000 at 7% for, we'll say a five-year car loan, even though on Toyota's website, it did say 2.99% for 36 months, which is three years, but we'll see how it is. Okay, so now we're at month five, and now it's a $20,000 loan. Oh, sweet. $20,000. All right. So month five. Okay. So now um, mortgage is the, the mortgage. We'll just figure that one. Actually, here's the thing. Mortgage payoffs in, in general is last. In fact, every time I do these velocity banking um, videos, the, I've never had a situation where you pay off a mortgage first versus an auto loan. Now, what we're going to do is instead of directly putting our entire you know, cash flow 
into that auto loan. We're just going to move parts of it into the line of credit. And why would we do that? Because what we want to do is essentially simulate overpaying a loan with your cash flow, but not use our savings, if that makes sense. So if we directly put our savings into a loan, that money is gone forever. We move it to a line of credit, we are essentially kind of overpaying it, but we have full access to our cash flow, right? Hopefully that makes sense. And if it doesn't, I probably explain it better in another video. But luckily, I have this fancy velocity banking calculator um, that you don't necessarily need, right? But it helps determine the payoff much easier for an amortized loan that's like a lower interest and higher balance, although this one's not so low right? Like the interest rate is kind of high, uh, or at least in my opinion, it is. <laughs> but all we, so my point is all we got to do with this velocity banking calculator is just input the information. And this is provided by Renatus, right? So Renatus is where I first learned um, velocity banking from in 2017. Uh, and so I just got to do, put this in and, you know, full disclosure, I actually make commission from selling their products because I'm an independent contracted marketer. Okay. So now, Let's go ahead and put this in. So 5,000, no, our balance, which is 22,000, 22,000. What's our current balance? 2445.50, 2445.5. What's our interest rate? Seven, five years. And our payment amount is 435.63. Okay, so let's just move. So 10%, so $5,000 income, $5,000 into the line of credit. And we're going to put our expenses, which is everything except what we're trying to pay off. So 2783.1, right? So you combine these two, it's 2783.1. 2783.1. And then as you can see here, it takes about 0.8 years to pay it off. 0.8 years. And the interest, which is not that much to be honest, is, you know, we've reduced it to six about $600. So 0.8. So 0.8 years. And this is going to take, so, hmm, equals 5 divided by 12. No, 5 times, yeah, divided by 12. So 0.4 plus 0.8 years, that's 1.2 years. One point two years to pay off eleven, so it's pay off thirty-three K. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do this and just do the same thing with the mortgage. Now at one point two years. And how much does 1.2, what does that translate to? So 1.2 times 12, that's four, about 14, 15 months. So 15 months, we got to figure out uh, what the, the balance of this loan is. And we'll just go ahead and figure that out. So 15 months. So that'll be 203.000 times 30 years times our 6.5% interest rate. Uh, so now, all right, uh, what am I doing here? <laughs> Did I just have a blank out moment? All right. So now we're going to figure out at, uh, what was it? What did I say? Let me just, I'm sorry. So 1.2 times 12 for 15 months. So let's say 15 months, what the balance of this loan is. And as you can see here, look at the interest compared to the principal of the, especially the very beginning payments. Oh my goodness. This is crazy, right? So thousand dollars to 200. So now we're going to, we paid about $3,000 of that principal, almost 3000. And all we got to do is just, uh, again, copy and paste. And that's the beauty of this calculator. Oh, 
All right, so now we just put it in, and we'll, so, I'm sorry, this is 6.5, and then what is our payment amount? It is 1283.1. 1283.1, 1, and now our only expense is this 1500 right here. Okay, and as you can see here, it's 5.8 years, and 2400 is the interest and then the the interest that now we're expected to pay is about 40,000 which is really good right you don't want to pay 240 when it's not necessary so all right so now what we do is 1.2 plus 5.8 is 7 years and that would be seven years and two hundred thirty six thousand dollars of debt oh my goodness like this is so mind-blowing and awesome and i cannot believe it seven years just to be debt free i mean think about this what if you know you learned about this back right when excel was created or maybe the early 90s early to mid 90s you would have been like winning in life and been debt free since the mid 90s if you had a copy of Excel, right? So I'm pretty sure the first version of Excel was on a crappy screen because the first computers they had back then, um, although they crashed often. Actually, did they crash often? I remember something called, I don't know if you're, if, and some of you are old enough to remember the blue screen of death, but I remember when I was a kid working with computers, they would just crash for no reason. And I think, you know, software, um, especially back then was just really it had i don't think it was the hardware was good enough to handle the software and then nowadays it's like the software industry uh is kind of coasting on how good the hardware is if that makes sense but back to my point you could have been doing this in the late 80s right if you had a copy of excel and um you know a home equity line of credit which they started to offer in the 80s or you know started to become popular in the 80s now i was in live back then because um, I only learned about the strategy back in 2017, so there was a whole 17-year gap where we could have applied the strategy and been debt-free and, like, take a look here, seven years, right? So, you know, wasted opportunity. And, you know, the worst part is is that if we take a look at the uh, demographics of this channel, which we'll do right now, and look at this, we're at 1999 sub count. Do we get 2,000 yet? No, not yet. All right, so if we look at the demographics of this channel and look at the viewer age, you'll see that the people who need to learn this the most, which is probably these three rain age ranges, are the ones who are least interested. It's 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 kind of ironic how that works, but you know, it is what it is, and I can't control that, but that's just the marketplace for this type of content. All right. Well, all right. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Um, I'm going to redo the Google form soon. I just don't know when. I just got to get off my lazy uh, B-U-T-T. But if you're interested in joining our group, go ahead and click the Google form link below. Um, I would do it rather now than later because eventually I will put up a paywall. Um, probably uh, at the end of next month if once I uh, get to it. But Go ahead and click that link. We'll get on a one-on-one -on -one call, and uh, we'll speak to you next time. So have a great day, everybody, and happy Velocity Banking software tryout, and all you need is Excel.